Danielle, good morning. This is really a moment of international reckoning within the Catholic Church and right here at home. We are expecting that list of credibly accused abusers to be made public a little later on this morning. Now, this list is made up of uh, priests and different members within the leadership. The number of names has not been revealed, but it is expected to be in the dozens. The diocese says it will also include, quote, other pertinent information. Uh, it is unclear how far back the list will go, but Eyewitness News has been following these developments for months. In December, Bishop Thomas Tobin announcing on newsmakers the publication of the list at the time saying the church is committed to proving the list of names, providing it rather to the attorney general's office. I think the important thing to emphasize is that we report everything comes in, even if we don't think it's credible. I don't think there will be too many surprises because they've already been publicized. This comes just days after Rhode Island state lawmakers passed a bill extending the statute of limitations on sexual assault cases, moving the limitation from seven years to 35. We, of course, will be following this all morning long. The list expected at around 8 o'clock this morning will be provided along the way. Live in Providence, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.